Ellipse. The shortcut key used in the command line is EL. Ellipses are created as NURBS curves. Ellipses are closed, symmetrical shapes. The ellipse can be drawn by two methods. Let's draw an ellipse by using the elliptical center method. Go to the draw menu and on the ellipse command select the center method. Now the command line asks you to specify a center point of the ellipse. Select a point on the drawing area and then select another end point of the ellipse. The command line asks you to specify a distance of another end axis. Select another point on the drawing area and thus the ellipse is drawn. Note, a sub-option rotation can also be selected to specify an angle of an ellipse. If the rotation angle is zero, the ellipse is shaped like a circle. The maximum rotation angle is from zero to 89 degrees. Now let's draw an ellipse using elliptical axis and endpoint method. Go to the Draw menu, and on the Ellipse command, select Axis End Method. The command line asks you to specify Axis End Point of the ellipse. Select a point on the drawing area, and select another Axis End Point of an ellipse to specify the major or minor axis. And finally, specify a distance of another end point along another axis by selecting the end point. Let's draw an elliptical arc. Elliptical arcs are similar to ellipses, except they're open. Go to the Draw menu, and on the Ellipse option select the Arc method to draw an elliptical arc. Now the command line asks you to specify axis end point of an ellipse. Select a point on the drawing area, and select another axis end point of an ellipse to specify the major or minor axis. And finally, specify a distance of another endpoint along another axis. Thus, the profile of the ellipse is drawn. Now the command line asks you to specify a start point of an elliptical arc. So specify the start point by picking the point on the ellipse profile. Select the endpoint by picking the endpoint of an elliptical arc. Note the sub-option in elliptical arc command is parameter. Parameter is used to specify the start and end angle of an elliptical arc. Parameter requires the same input as start angle, but creates the elliptical arc using a parametric vector equation p u equals c plus a asterisk cosine u plus b asterisk sine u. Where c is the center of the ellipse, a and B are its major and minor axes, respectively. End parameter defines the end angle of the elliptical arc by using a parametric vector equation. The start parameter option toggles from angle mode to parameter mode. The mode controls how the ellipse is calculated. Included angle defines an included angle beginning at the start angle. Polyline. A polyline is a linear or curved segment. Create an open or closed regular or irregular polylines with the polyline command. Just like the line command, polyline will continue adding lines or arc segments until you terminate the command. Unlike the case with line, the objects you create with the polyline command are single entities. Let's see how to draw a polyline. Here are the steps to be followed. We can select the polyline option by dragging the mouse to the menu browser and clicking the down arrow. Now from the draw menu we can select the polyline command. Or there is one more method to select the polyline option and it reduces the time even more. Go to home tab and from the draw panel select the polyline command. Now the command line asks you to specify its start point. Specify a point on the drawing area. Now, the command line asks you to specify a next point. Thus, by picking many points on the drawing area, a line is drawn continuously. If you want to reject the last point selection, type U on the command line and press Enter. The last point selection has rejected and now it asks you to specify the next point. To come out from the command after finishing a sketch, press Enter 
or press Escape key on the keyboard. Let's see some sub-options in the Polyline command. Here, to specify a width of a polyline, type PL on the command line and press Enter. Note, PL is the shortcut key for the Polyline command. Command line asks you to specify a start point of a polyline. Specify a point on the drawing area. To specify a width of a polyline, type a W on the command line, which is a sub-option of Polyline Command, and press Enter. The command line asks you to specify starting width. Type the value as 1 and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to specify ending width. Type the value as 1 and press Enter. Specify an endpoint of polyline on the drawing area. The last line segment is filled with the width of the polyline. Note that you can give a different width at the start and end point of polyline. To regain the polyline with zero width, type W on the command line and press Enter. Specify the value as zero on the starting width and press Enter. And specify the value as zero on the ending width and press Enter. Now select another point on the drawing area. Well now, let's see the option of length. Type L on the command line under the polyline command and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to specify a length of line. Specify the value on the command line. For example, type 5 and press Enter. The length of 5 units is added along the direction of the last line segment. Let's see the option Half Width. Type H on the command line and press Enter. The command line asks you to specify starting half width. Specify the value as 1 and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to specify ending half width. Specify the value 1 and press Enter. Therefore, the total value of the polyline is 2. Now select an endpoint of a line. To regain the polyline without width, type H on the command line and press Enter. Specify the value 0 on the starting half width and press Enter. Specify the value as 0 on the ending half width and press Enter. Specify an endpoint on the drawing area. Let's see another option called Arc. Specify A on the command line and press Enter. Now the Arc option appears. An arc can be drawn by using these options, as what we have seen in Arc command. Select an endpoint. Thus, arc is drawn. Again, to get into a polyline option, type L on the command line and press Enter. Now, from the arc option, you'll be getting into line option. Let's see the last option on the polyline, which is close option. Type C on the command line and press Enter. When it finishes, the sketch by forming a loop and you'll be coming out from the command. Polygon. The shortcut key used to type on the command line is P-O-L. Definition. Like rectangles, polygons are closed polyline objects. Unlike rectangles, by default, polygons are regular. They have equal length sides and equal internal angles. AutoCAD's polygon command draws regular polygons of a minimum of 3 and a maximum of 1,024 sides. After specifying the number of sides for your polygon, there are three sub-options available to draw a polygon. They are Edge, locate an endpoint of the first edge, then pick or enter a value to locate the second endpoint. Inscribed, locate the center of an imaginary circle and then specify its radius. AutoCAD draws the polygon so that the corners of the polygon touch the circumference of the circle. The circle is not actually drawn and circumscribed. Locate the center of an imaginary circle and then specify its radius. AutoCAD draws the polygon so that the sides of the polygon are tangent to the imaginary circle. There are nearly three methods to draw a polygon. Let's see how to create a polygon using the inscribed method. Go to the draw menu and select a polygon command. Now the command line asks you to specify a number of sides of a polygon, whereas the default sides are four. 
Type 6 on the command line and press Enter to create a hexagon. Now the command line asks you to specify a center of a polygon. Specify a center point on the drawing area. Now the command line asks you to specify an option, whether polygons should be drawn using inscribed option or circumscribed option. Type I on the command line to draw a polygon using the inscribed option and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to specify a radius of a circle. Specify the value as 6 on the command line and press Enter. The radius of the circle indicates the distance between the center point and the vertex point of the polygon. Now let's see how to create a polygon using the circumscribed method. Go to a draw menu and select a polygon command. Now the command line asks you to specify a number of sides of a polygon. The default sides are four. Type 5 and press Enter to create a pentagon. Now the command line asks you to specify a center of the polygon. Specify a center point on the drawing area. Now the command line asks you to specify an option, whether the polygon should be drawn using inscribed option or circumscribed option. Specify C to draw a polygon using the circumscribed option and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to specify a radius of a circle. Type the value as 6 on the command line and press Enter. The radius of a circle indicates the distance between the center point and the midpoint on the side of the polygon. Finally, let's see how to create a polygon using an edge method. Go to the Draw menu and select a polygon command. Now the command line asks you to specify the number of sides of a polygon. Again, the default sides are four. Type 8 and press Enter to create an octagon. Now the command line asks you to specify a center of the polygon. Instead of specifying a center point, type E on the command line and press Enter to select the Edge option. Now the command line asks you to specify the first end point of edge. Specify a first end point on the drawing area. Now the command line asks you to specify a second end point of edge. Drag the mouse to specify an end point and select the point on the drawing area. The distance between the first and end point indicates the length of the side of the polygon, and thus the polygon is drawn.